Hello everyone and welcome to Practical Open Source. My name is Peter and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to draw a gear using LibreCAD. Now I've already gone ahead and uh, figured out the dimensions for this gear. I've decided that we're going to draw a gear that has 10 teeth with a pressure angle of 20 degrees and a module of 20. Once you have those values uh, picked, these dimensions kind of fall out from those values. Alright, let's get started in LibreCAD. First thing we're going to go, we're, we're going to do is go to Options, Current Drawing Preferences, uh, and make sure the units are set to millimeters. Hit OK. And now we're going to go to the layer list here and select Modify Layer Attributes for Layer 0. We'll change that to Magenta, and we'll change that to 0.25 millimeters. Hit OK. Now we're going to start drawing some circles. Uh, we're going to turn snap to grid on, we're going to go to circles, we're going to go center radius, and the radius for this first circle, the outside diameter, is 240 millimeters. And we're going to divide that by 2 to get the radius. And then the uh, root diameter, we're going to do that again, go to circle, center radius, the root diameter is 150. We'll divide that by 2 to get the radius, and there we go. Next, what we're going to draw, uh, we will draw the base diameter, but we'll draw it in a new layer called the Involute Profile. We'll change the color to uh, blue, the width 0.25, continuous. Okay, so we're going to draw a circle, center radius again. Now, the diameter of the base circle is 187.9385. We'll just divide that by 2 and put that there. Now we're going to want to draw some radial lines here. So we're going to go to line, two point. We turn off grid snapping, we'll turn endpoint snapping and center snapping. I'm going to pick there and there. Now we're going to select this line, go to modify, rotate. We're going to click that point twice, multiple copies. Uh, we're going to rotate it about. Uh, 10 degrees clockwise, and we're going to do five copies. So hit OK. Now we're going to draw some orthogonal lines based on the arc length of this distance, um, based on how far this line is away from this line. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we're going to create a new layer and we'll call this dimensions. We'll go, we'll change the color to red. Uh, we will 0.2 millimeters wide line width, uh, continuous, okay. Um, we're going to go to dimensions and say radial, and then we'll pick that circle, the base circle right there. Okay, and we want, we're going to move this dimension up here so we can see it. Hit control K to deselect everything. Okay, so now we want this arc length, and we want to draw a line that's the same length that's orthogonal to this line. So I'll go back to the Involute Profile. We will go to Line. We will select um, Orthogonal. And now we need to calculate what this length is. So we're going to take the radius, 93.9693. We're going to multiply it by the angle, which is 10 degrees. And then we're going to convert that into radians. So we'll multiply that by pi and divide it by 180. Okay, now we pick this line, and then we pick that endpoint. Now you can see it drew a line on this side and this side, so we don't need uh, this side of the line. So we will go to Modify, Trim, Cutting Edge, uh, keep that line. And now we just need to keep doing that. For this line, we're, we want this arc length. So we'll go back to Line, Orthogonal. Our previous value was in there. And so what we can do is we can multiply it by the new angle divided by the previous angle. Select that line, put that at the end like that. Right click, come back up here, multiply it by the new angle divided by the previous angle. Select the appropriate line and the end point. Right click. Uh, that was 30, we need 40 and 50 next, so come up here, multiply it by 
the new angle divided by the previous angle. Select that line and the endpoint. Come back up here, multiply it by the new angle divided by the previous angle. Select that line and pick that point. And now these points describe an involute curve. We will go to curve, spline through points, and we'll pick these endpoints. I'll turn free snapping off so you can see. Here, 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 and there. And there's our involute curve. Um, and now the gear profile will be here. So let's add a new layer. We'll call this gear. We'll leave it as black and white but we will choose a, a line width of 0.5 millimeters hit ok and now we want to draw this profile starting from this circle coming down to this circle hit control k so we want to make sure that intersection snapping is turned on and we'll turn off center snapping we will go to curve spline through points pick that point that point that point that point and then that point right click to finish it so if we turn off involute profile we, we have that curve starting at that circle now okay now we want to draw a line from that endpoint to that intersection now we can turn off the involute profile there and we can get rid of this dimension now we're going to create a new layer called pitch circle. We'll change the color to oh, dark green. Uh, the width 0.25. Line type we will pick um, divide let's say small. Okay. Now we're going to draw the pitch circle. So we're going to go to circle uh, center radius. I will turn center snapping on and the radius is um, the pitch circle diameter is 200 so we'll divide that by 2 to get the radius and we'll snap it right there all right now we're going to draw another line a radial line though along the pitch circle from the center so here center to that intersection and now we want to select that line, go to Modify, Rotate. We'll pick that point twice. Angle, since there are uh, 10 teeth, the, the angle we want to pick is 36, and we'll keep the original. And now we want to bisect this angle. So we'll go to Line, Bisector. Uh, make sure the radius, the length is set to the radius of 100 and we'll set it to three we'll pick that line and that line and now we can rotate sorry we can mirror oh, we can go into the gear layer we'll select these gear profile sorry the tooth profile go to modify mirror and we'll select that endpoint and that intersection we'll say keep original okay and now um, we want to select this profile, we're going to say modify, rotate, about the center point here, and then we're going to pick this endpoint as a reference and rotate it all the way over to here. And we're going to say keep original. And now we want to draw the top of this gear tooth and then the root. So we're going to need another point here to pick, so we're going to go and modify, trim, select this outside circle and then select this line and now we go to curve arc three point pick that point that point and that point three point curve again this point this point and that point and now we can add a fillet in here so go to modify we will turn off the construction layer first we'll go to modify um, fillet uh, we will select trim and make sure the radius is set to 5. Click that line and then that line and then this line 
and then this layer. Okay, and now we can get rid of this line and we can get rid of this line. And now we can select this profile. We can go to modify, rotate, pick the center, click it twice. We want to rotate this 36 degrees. We want multiple copies and we want to do it. There's 10 in total, so we want to do it nine more times. We'll hit OK. And there is our gear. We'll turn the zero layer back on. And we're going to rotate this slightly. So we're going to select everything. We're going to modify, rotate about that center point. And we're going to pick this intersection point right here. And we're going to make sure that it's on the vertical. We're going to say delete the original, hit OK. And there is our gear. We're going to turn off the zero layer. And we are going to select everything. We're going to go to modify, move copy, turn grid snapping on, select the center of that and move it over to there. I'll say keep the original, deselect everything. And as you can see, these gear teeth mesh perfectly with one another. And that's how you draw a gear using LibreCAD. If you have any questions, comments, or any suggestions you might have for uh, what, to, what I should draw next, leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.